Well, two things that go hand in hand is RVing and NASCAR. That's right. We're kicking off the NASCAR and the camping season with the Daytona 500. We weren't even supposed to be here. Uh -uh. We got rain out tickets because the, the feature Daytona 500 was supposed to run on Sunday. Yeah. It got rained out. And all those tickets went back up for sale. So me, being the smart guy that I am, <laughs> go online and find us some tickets. So we're here hanging out today. So we're going to tell you all about the race experience. We're going to have a lot of fun today. We are going to find out who wins day 2500. And along the way, we are going to share with you some tips and some tricks on how to enjoy your race experience. My driver, Kevin Harvick, retired last year. And so now I swapped, Yep. had to find a new driver. So now this year, I am rooting for Ross Chastain. Good luck. The number one car. Number one. Number one. And you're rooting for? Chase Elliott. Yep. That's my boy. She jumped to Chase Elliott once. Dale Earnhardt Jr. retired. Yeah. And so it's going to be interesting. This will be our first race that we have attended where Chase Elliott was in competition. Yes. And where Ross Chastain is in competition. Yes. So we'll see whose driver comes out. First. All right, tip number one is carpool. And there's a couple of good things about carpooling. Not only do you save gas, you get to go with friends. And today we're going with Ken and Pam from the Roadsmiths. Leslie's in the back back there. And uh, we're on our way to the Daytona 500 and we just discovered that Ken and Pam have not selected drivers yet. So they have about an hour before we get there. And once we get there, they will have to have chosen a driver by then because you got to root for somebody. So once we get there, we'll let you know who these guys are rooting for. But just to be clear, driver at the Daytona because right now I'm driving, so it's pretty clear they <laughs> drove me at the time. <laughs> you can't root for yourself. <laughs> Tip number two, park far out. Yeah. Because the farther out you park, yeah, you got to walk to get to the speedway, but at the end of the night when the race is over, it's easy to get out. Right out. Yeah. And we've never been to Daytona before no. for a race. So it's hard to find a parking space. Well, we didn't come early enough either. And that's tip number three. <laughs> come, early come early. So that you can find a space and you can still get to the racetrack and still see all the cool stuff outside the racetrack that there is to see before yeah. you go in for the race. One of the things you got to do while you're here is you got to come by the swag trailers. This is Chase Elliott's swag trailer. So we're coming to see if there's anything that Leslie might want. And it's actually surprising that the prices are not bad. They're pretty good. And a lot of the times at the race is the only times that you'll find some of this exclusive type swag. Another tip is to rent a scanner. And so these scanners not only protect your hearing as you're in there and these loud cars are going by, but you can actually hear the in-car audio of your favorite driver talking to his crew, talking to his spotter, where he's on the racetrack, trying to avoid wrecks and all that cool stuff. It's not censored, so if you have children, make sure you're monitoring that because the race drivers get a little, a little crazy on the headset. Too wide behind you, watch you 11 up top here. Watch you 11, watch you 11. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. All right, coming outside on you, outside. 11's way up there. Come on, winner, baby, come on. Lots of pre-race activities here, like you can get your picture taken with this crazy thing. I'm not sure that it gets more redneck than that. <laughs> this is the start finish line. The start finish line goes all the way on the outside, all the way through into the speedway right there. So this is where the actual start finish line is. And Leslie is going to slap a <laughs> wayward wag sticker on the start finish line at Daytona. Boom, there it is, baby. <laughs> yeah. Here's a couple other tips. You want to sit up as high as you can. NASCAR is not like any other sport. Any other sport, you want to be as close to the field as possible. But in NASCAR, you want to set up as high as you can because you can't see the back part of the racetrack if you're right down on the track. The higher up you are, the better your view is. Here's another pro tip. At NASCAR, they'll let you bring in coolers so you don't have to spend a bunch of money on their food and their drinks. You can bring in small, soft-sided coolers as long as there's no glass. Even alcohol. You can bring in beer, wine, liquor, whatever you want. So make sure you pack a little bit with you. It'll save you a bunch of money when you get into the racetrack. It's so cool. I can't believe we're at the Daytona 500. Yeah! The Rock says, drive. 
drivers, start your engine! We got 200 laps of excitement. Ring, 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 ring is in the air. Well, it was a great race. I think at some point everybody's driver led that race. Mm -hmm. And so yep. Ken chose Kyle, Kyle Bush. Bush. Kyle Bush. Pam chose. Hamlin. Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin. Denny. And you know, Leslie's Chase Elliott, and I'm Ross Chastain. So I think at some point, everybody's driver yeah. led the race. And you're, and you're, I think your driver would have won the race had it not, not been for him. Yeah, he got spun <laughs> coming to the white flag. Yeah. Spun. And uh, he didn't even finish the race. So that was, it was an exciting race though. William Byron won. Uh, the Thunderbird flyover was, that awesome. was awesome. Very that was awesome. cool. That was awesome. Um, just had a good time hanging out in the race. And we thought we chose good. Parking. at our parking because we parked far out and we parked close to a gate and uh, the, unfortunately that gate didn't open up and we even pointed the front of the car to the direction that yeah. the gate should have opened up and so here is what we're dealing with right now the race ended at eight o'clock it is currently 9 23 <laughs> the xfinity race that was starting afterwards has already started they're almost through their they're almost through their first segment of their race so we'll have to deal with that. and we're still sitting in the parking lot so hopefully we get out of here before that race ends and a couple other couple more tips the last couple tips that i had was one dress accordingly because it was very warm and comfortable and sunny when we got here and the sun went down and it got into the 50s. So make sure you're wearing the appropriate clothing or wearing layers so you're good. And we prepared, I think. We did. We did pretty good. And then uh, the last tip is if you're going to do camping on site, uh, you need to book that out way, way in advance. Luckily, we're not camping on site. But um, if you do need to do that, like as soon as those tickets go on sale for camping, you got to buy them because they're going to be gone really fast. But anyway, it was great hanging out with you guys at the race. Our first Daytona 500. Yeah, it was a, our, our first as well. Actually, our, only our second uh, sort of big race like this. Yeah. It, was, it was a blast. Always cool. oh, really cool. Um, and don't forget ear protection, too. Gotta say yeah, that. that is a good tip, ear protection. Yeah. I had my, my headphones, but we were pretty high up, so it wasn't yeah. as bad. Yeah. We've yeah. A lot of the races, we've been down lower, and it's been, like, really, really loud. But yeah. Daytona is one of the, the, yeah. the tracks that is so big that once they go by, you can talk for a few seconds <laughs> until they come back around. Right. But um, had a really good time. Anyway, that's it from Daytona. And stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. See you next time. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>